Hi everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, or uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, sorry about the format, but this is an Instagram Live. And yeah, Instagram Live. I'm just going to finish up this slice of pizza I'm having, since I haven't eaten anything all day. Got my desk running in the background, and unfortunately, as you probably saw from my Instagram pics, this package was open before I could get back here. However, ah, everything's still in their bags, so, yeah. Um, let's start here. Safari Limited Camarasaurus. I'll take everything out of the bags in a minute. Here, Safari Limited. I gotta start saying LTD, but Safari LTD, Carnotaurus. This is all Safari LTD, so I'm just gonna stop saying it from now on. Got the new Pteranodon. I got the Allosaurus. The Feathered Velociraptor. One I've been waiting quite a while for. And this baby Pteranodon. Story with this is, well, it's, it's on a final sale right now, and I had one of those as a kid, so, um, yeah. All right, let's see what this is. Scratch, save, and shop. I'm going to scratch this. No one's on the Instagram live right now. Let's see what I get. I need to grab something sharper than my bitten off fingernails, so I don't have a coin with me. One second, guys. Twenty five percent off. Alright guys, I got 25% off in order if I use that. So that's cool. I'm just gonna enjoy my pizza since no one's on the live stream right now. I did not know these came like this. Last time I saw someone unbox a video that had good luck many things, they were in a little orange baggie. Which I kind of miss, because orange is a great color, but I really need to get a stand or something. But I'm just going to insert the knife at the top. Only use a knife if you're certified to use a knife. All right. On the counter. Let's see what we got. Oh, I dropped something. No. All right, so it looks like five good luck minis here. Let me just double check that I didn't drop anything else underneath. No, all right. So, an animate object, got a heart, nice little heart. It's cool. We got a mythical animal here, a six-legged serpentine dragon. Uh, like an Asian dragon here. That's a real nice one. Got a ginormous Stegosaurus figure here. I didn't even know they came this big. But it is giant. It is green and it is beautiful. We got this wolf or dog that's sitting down and howling. And we got a nice little manatee. So those are my first good luck minis. So let's put them in my hand. Let's walk on over to the dinosaur desk. And put them with the safari collection. Tara, you're gonna have to move over a little bit more. Just a tad. Got dinosaur books in the back. So I'm gonna put this right next to the stegosaurus I already have from Safari. 
And then just up by this alligator, I'm gonna put the manatee. I'm gonna put the pupper under the styracosaurus. I'm gonna put the dragon on the back of the alligator. And I'm gonna put the heart in its mouth. All right, wonderful. Now let's grab the knife again and let's open up some packages. And no one is watching this Instagram live. I should have just filmed this uh, the proper way to film stuff and done a YouTube video, but whatever. I got one vote and it was for an Instagram live. So guess what we're doing? All right. Can I hold this with my chin? Nope. All right. Uh, this is my bat holding it with my. Ah. Uh, possible. Uh. Slice. All right, we're opening up the big boy first, the 2019 Camarasaurus. Ah, battery, 20%. Wonderful. And here it is. Nice, large figure. Gonna review this bad boy. For such a big figure, the texturing is, if my camera would focus, very good. Nice stretch marks. Doesn't even need the scales. Nice fat head there. Paint job looks excellent, in my opinion. I really like these brown stripes going down the back and the pattern along here, along the neck and the body. It is a very nice looking figure. And... It will be the tallest, but not the longest figure in my collection here. Well, of my, in my safari collection back here. Although it is still much shorter than the Diplodocus, even if its head was lowered, it is the tallest since its head is raised. And it dwarfs la last year's uh, safari sauropod. So, Let's move to the smallest figure. Is the Pteranodon baby. I had this, a story with this, if you didn't see my Instagram story. When I was a little kid, I believe I went to the American Museum of Natural History. I don't know. Might have been. I went there a lot as a kid. I went to some other museums, but mostly there. And I believe that's where I got these two figures here. This exact one and uh, another cop a different copy of this one. And I had it for a while, but I lost it. Oh, uh, yeah. Welcome. I, al I already undid the, uh, the Good Luck Minis and the Camarasaurus and the uh, turn on baby here. Hello. So, um, yeah, I have, I've had this since I I've had a figure similar to this for a lot of my life and I lost it and I was upset when I saw it was on fa final sale, I decided I'll pick it up for what was it? Three bucks. So there we go. Um, but the major, the majority of My good luck minis there, there, and there. Come here, sorry, let's turn it on, yeah. All right, uh, majority of the figures are still sitting in some bags, so I'm gonna put this down. God, I really need somewhere to stand this up. And open up the other pterosaur I got, the 2019 Pteranodon, which is also in a sitting pose. Uh, okay, just slip the, I'll leave the tags on of them for now. What a beautiful creature. I mean, the detailing on, I gotta turn the light on in here. It's gonna be, the lighting is gonna be kind of odd because the lamp's broken. I don't even know if you can see, yeah. But the detail on this figure is amazing. Like all the little, you see the, 
you know, the feathers that looks great. Got some stre stretch marks down here, some more feathering work. I wish there's a little more brown carried through the underside. Part of me wishes it. The other part wishes it just stays the same right here. I love the color degradation here on the crest from this brown color through the shades of orange into white. Uh, and also kind of like the opposite effect going from a lighter orange to a deep red on the beak here. And I'm gonna put that just back here. And I'm gonna move the alligator up a little bit. And he's gonna, I'm gonna push the baby trend on under him. So I just gotta put my Chinese dragon back on top of there. And I'm gonna move the T-Rex baby back here. And put the Stego baby right under the, uh, right next to it there. All right, next thing to hopefully not destroy with my knife, Velociraptor. This figure's been out for quite some years. I've never picked it up. It's a shame because I love Dromaeosaurus. My channel name is literally Master Dromaeus. Um, Jurassic Park is why I'm in this community at all. It's why I'm aspiring to be a paleontologist. So this amazing, beautiful figure here is just wonderful. I love the tail fin. I love the little white dots on the feathers there too. And also it's orange, the, clearly the best color in the world. So, you know, I like how the coloring goes up here. I like the, just a little bit of scalation on the snout there. I do see a little bit of paint blemish on the nose there, but that's fine. Um, I, I know that it's technically a tripod, maybe a quadruped with the wings touching, but I don't really mind because it looks so great and I just love these feet with the little toe claws. So I'm gonna put this guy, and actually I am gonna start taking the tags off. So I'm just gonna slip it over his snaz. And I'm just going to tuck him back here, overlooking the Ankylosaurus. So let me just take the tags off the Chimera uh, and the Pteranodons real quick, so I can show you where I've put the Velociraptor. I need a knife. Where's the knife? Please don't be on the ground where I'm about to step. Nope, okay. I think I had some like cheap Chinese brand and I had two flying pterosaurs or pteranodons that I got sometime near when I got this baby pteranodon. Now that I have it, I should talk about it. And they were like its parents. There was a pair of them. They were like similar color too. Um, I don't need the knife for this. It's just slide over the beautiful crest. Love the patterning on that too. Put it back there. All right, everyone. That is the uh, Velociraptor in there. I think it's a nice place there, right behind the custom Styracosaurus. Um, I just hit the base there. Let's go with the Allosaurus first, and then the Carnel as the last figure. Hopefully my phone doesn't suddenly die. Okay, no, I'm at like 16 or 18%. I can't really tell. I didn't want to stray away too long. Um, but I'm opening the Allosaurus right now. And God, this is a wonderful figure. Can I get it out of the base? Ah, yeah, and I didn't see any feet deformation with the Velociraptor, so that's good. All right, Allosaurus, feet are looking fine. Nice chunky boy. Let's take that tag off. Yeet. Wonderful looking figure. 
I love the red crest. And he is going to go right by, excuse me, you Tyrannus. Right under, or right, let's see. How can I, okay, let's push the old owl back a little bit under the Chimera. Let's push the new owl out there. Oh, if only my old aloe still had all its fingers, that would be great. Look at that. Doesn't that just look great? And I'm just going to move the Utyrannus under there, under the Malawi source. And I'll do a collection update, uh, just overall showcase at the end of this video. Just make sure my computer's running. Yep. All right. So the last figure. The Carno. This is what we're gonna ride. This is the thing we're mounting into Area 51, people. Its arms are always in a Naruto run. So clearly, it's the best mount for the Area 51 raid. Because it's it's forced to be a Naruto runner. Now, we just gotta find them. But, in all seriousness, this figure's great. Love the osteoderms. My first a belly sore figure, I believe. Sure. Um, just look at that face, that mean face. That orange is a beautiful orange there. Um, you can see a trend with my figure collections. All but one of them so far had some form of orange on it. The face looks mean. The hands tiny because there's only half of an arm there. The osteoderms are great. The scale detail is so minimal. My camera won't pick it up because it's an iPhone 8 and it's supposed to be better than the 7. The pose is great too, I think. Nice, very active pose. And I think, I think this should go in where the Velociraptor is right now and I should bring the Raptor more forward. So let's bring that there. I'm gonna stuff the Styrac under a little bit more. I'm gonna put the little pupper under there. I'm going to... Wow, I didn't even know my collection would get this tight, ever. And now I have 25% off my next order, so clearly I'm gonna be buying more from Safari soon. But, um... Wow. Oh boy. This is August the 3rd, 2019. And this is the updated collection for the new Master Jeremiah. Or Master Jeremiah, whatever. Um, sauropods in the back here. The Chimerasaurus, nice, standing tall. You can clearly see the Carno peeking out from the herbivores there. The little dog is just a cute addition there, I think. You can notice the stegosaurus right there with the small little figurines from my childhood. Over here, you got the poor alligator who's to, who has all the all of these little uh, very well detailed uh, uh, mini figurines for you know being so small. And he's just got them on him. The raptor just sticks out nice. The allosauruses look like they're a hunting pair. The pteranodon is sticking out nice. And let's just get an establishing shot of there. You can notice the entire collection. You see all the dinosaurs there, basically. And you can tell what's new. And you can see uh, the popping colors of some of these creatures. I think that just looks great. And let's not... I'm going to turn the Utyrannus a little more inward there. All right. So that's it, guys. Sorry, people on YouTube, for the video being straight up. But, you know, uh, Instagram Live, that's what they wanted. And I can't do an Instagram Live like that. So, this is Master Dromeo, signing off. And remember, raptors don't make good pets, but they certainly make good figures. And how do I end this?